Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at Marvel's Domino from the Sasquatch Build-A-Figure wave of Deadpool Marvel Legends. And this is a figure that we've probably needed for a while now. The last time they made a Domino figure, it was kind of a long time ago, and it wasn't great. And this one's definitely okay. It's a pretty average figure, honestly. There's not a whole lot going on here, but it's not too bad. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This figure stands just a shy of 16 and a half centimeters, which makes it just about eh, a little bit less than six and a half inches. So it's a little bit tall for a female, but that's pretty much how all the Marvel Legends figures are. So I guess that's okay. As far as reused parts, there are a few. There are some new parts, so it's I think that's pretty good overall. Uh, she only has the two accessories really, which are the two guns, which are molded in solid purple. I mean, they're they're molded in purple and there's no paint on them, so that's a little weird. Another thing that's a little bit weird is that they're purple and that they are not the same gun. Every time I've ever seen Domino, she's had like dual pistols, and these are not, so that's a little bit strange. As far as the figure goes, there's almost no paint on it. There's a little bit of silver at the arms, a little bit of silver at the knees and boots, and that's about it. The only buckles that are painted are right here. There's lots of buttons and buckles throughout the rest of the character, throughout the chest harness, that belt, the belt underneath it, the straps on the boots. None of it's painted. That's pretty disappointing. It takes a lot out of the figure to have just solid black plastic. Very, very disappointing. For the face, it's done well enough. The domino patch thingy is clean. Her lips have like a metallic blue to them, and the eyes are done okay. They're uh, not perfectly centered up, but they're okay. They're not bad. There's no shading in the hair. Uh, the paintwork for the chest is okay, I guess, so that's alright. It's just a very bland figure. It's not bad, but it's not it's not great, let's put it that way. It also has a terrible case of lollipop syndrome. You can see the entire ball peg still. Uh, luckily, the head is not too high off the, off the body. It's just the way they engineered it again. So you have a ridiculous range of motion side to side. Of course, you can look up and down on the ball peg itself. And then if you use the hinge, you can do even more. So you're not going to be restricted in terms of posing the head at all, other than to try to hide the gapping, because you can definitely make it look like she's broken her neck. So be aware of that. This harness can just come right off, by the way. It's a floating piece. I don't think this one comes off. Yeah, it, it's glued on as far as I can... Well, it's glued together as far as I can tell. For the shoulders, uh, they have full rotation. And then if you want to raise them, you have to tuck them in. But then you can. So that's pretty good. You can raise them up no problem at all. So that's all right. No bicep swivel. Single jointed elbow gives you about 90. That, that's where you get your bicep swivel. Wrists rotate and have a hinge. Both hands have trigger fingers, so that's good. However, the hinge on this side is the good kind of hinge, which lets the hand go up and down, which is way more practical than going in and out. So that's good. This, not as much, but it's okay. The fingers are not painted particularly well, but they are painted, so that's okay. Her diaphragm joint does work really nicely, like incredible range of motion. That is how a diaphragm joint should work. It's a shame that they don't do that more often. Very, very nicely done. This belt, again, just floaty belt. Hips work pretty well. You can bring the leg pretty far forward. Can't really go back at all. Going out to the side, it's not great. It's okay. You have your thigh swivel. Double jointed knee works okay. Ankle hinge goes all the way back. And pretty far forward. And then you do get an ankle rocker, though it does come off at a bit of an angle. So again, it's not a bad figure by any means. It's not a particularly good figure. It is just an acceptable, decent, okay type of figure. So if you're looking for a new domino character, a new domino figure, this is the one you want to get. It's the one we got, and it's not bad, so it's okay. If you don't really care either way about the character and aren't like into collecting the entire batch, it's probably one you could pass on. It's not particularly impressive. So uh, there you go. Now you have the information you need to make your decision. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in the meantime, keep collecting.